Block destruction. Now we're talking block destruction. So again, remember where we started. We, saw, we started off talking about change of direction, right? The seven essentials of defensive back play, the seven essential fundamentals, all right? Change direction, okay? Um, we talked about ball skills, and now we're talking about block destruction block destruction and i mean that when i say that block the physical part of the game it's still football i know we're making the game safer and it should be safer it's for the better but it's still a physical game all right so when you're taking on a block you got to know how to take on the block getting your hands inside locking a guy out and getting rid of him all right or if you're doing what we call a boss drill i'm gonna give you a couple couple uh drills that you can use that will help your guys block the uh offensive players so balls, what we call balls, balls drill, all right? I have, a, a, I have an outside edge. I'm going to say I'm an outside uh, defender, a lever defender, an edge defender, all right? And I got, I got to keep the edge. I got to keep the edge. How we do that is with balls drill, all right? So I'm going I'm to attack the blocker with my inside, with my inside uh, shoulder. Okay, I'm going to keep my outside arm and leg free. So I'm going to attack them and stay square. My outside foot is, is back. Not only is it free, but it's back. I don't want to lock myself out where I can't run. And I'm going to shock the blocker. I want to close the running lane. Close the running lane. Don't run straight up the field and get kicked out and up the field. You want to close the running lane, squeeze it down, and get the ball back to your boys inside. All right, get the ball back to your boys inside. If the ball bounced, you got it. Hence, that's why I got my outside arm and leg free with my outside foot back, all right? If the ball dips down inside, I roll off of it and go make the play that way and help my boys out. So, boom, bam, ball sit right there, okay? Staying square, toes point to the goal line, outside arm and leg free. I would like that foot to be back more. It comes up the field a little bit. Go and make the play. Go and make the tackle. Go and make the tackle. Bam. The ball bounces. That's my tackle, all right? Balls drill. Here's, a, here's another one, okay? Balls that come from another way. Close the running lane, squeeze it, boom. I outside arm leg free, my outside foot is back this time. He goes underneath, I roll off of it and make a play. I roll off of it, boom. Outside arm leg free, roll off, make a play. Make sure you don't fall for the dip like, he, like the running back fakes in there and bounces. You secure the ball bouncing outside first. All your boys are inside. Make sure the ball is going inside before you Spin off. And he did, and he made the play. That's good. But if the ball bounces, that's us. All right? Balls drill. Balls. All right, so your drill should show up in the game. Your drill should show up in the game. All right? Up top, up top, we got a little corner. Take it on the guy. And we, and, and we got several of these on here that are, that are pretty good. Um, with little guys, take it on bigger guys. Because really, it's not about the size. It's about the pad level, all right? If you got bent knees, and you, the low man wins in football. And I'm going to show you all a great example of it here in a second, all right? So that's one. Um, here we go. Here's another one. Uh, this guy right here, this guy right here, got the, the tight end coming back across right there. He got to come boss him. Shock him right there. Low man wins. Low man wins, and he shocks him. Now, what, we, what he should do on this one is actually roll off. He does not roll off on this. But I do like his physicality, so I put that on here. Plus, it's the, the team we're going against. That's even more reason to put it on here. All right? So here he comes. Boom. Shock him. Shock him. Low man wins. Bam. All right? Being physical right there, outside, uh, in ar outside arm and leg are free, and his outside foot is back. Okay? His outside foot is back. He just needs to roll off at the end. All right? And then on this one right here. Okay? This one right here, we got the little guy down here, probably 170 pounds at the time, and we got the guard pulling. I'm assuming he's an offensive guard in the Big Ten. Let's go anywhere from 290 plus, all right, 290 plus, all right? So here we go. And this, this young man right here, 170, going to boss 290 plus. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boss him right there. His outside arm and leg are free. He's the low man. He has leverage. He has leverage. Not only does he take him on, he comes off and makes the tackle. Boss drill. Boss drill. And then he hits the ground. Who's on the ground? All right? Who's on the ground? 290 plus is on the ground. 170 is making a tackle. Outstanding job. Boss drill. So don't let your players say, man, you want me to go take on a big lineman and all that? Here's an example right here. Here's an example right here. Boom. Take him on. 
You stay square, he, he knocked him out there a little bit, bounced him a little bit, fall back, make a play. It's a mindset, mentality, boss drill, boss drill. Again, remember we're talking block destruction, block destruction. All right, crack the cracker, very similar to, uh, to boss drill, except it's really a ver reverse boss drill. The guy's coming from, from uh, outside in on you. The, the, the receiver's coming to crack you. You got to basically boss him, stay in there, and then go make a play. Be physical. Crack the cracker. Receivers shouldn't want to crack a strong safety or a uh, linebacker. They, they should. No, nah, I ain't trying to get there. They should. They, they should give fake effort. All right. Make the coach think they was trying to really go get the guy when they really weren't. All right. Here we go. Crack the cracker. So here's the crack the cracker drill right here. Okay, that's the receiver coming to block the the safety. Boom. Stand square again. You want to stay square. All right. Square is strong right there. You got a base right. And he got his gap. And then the other guy, that if it was a corner out here, he crack replaces. Crack replaces off the butt. So they each got their gap. If this guy hops outside, now you got two guys outside and the ball will cut up inside. So I got to maintain my gap right there. That's why I must crack the cracker and stay firm. Crack the cracker and stay firm. Here we go again, another one. Bam, same drill. Just set it up. Again, I'm always making up drills. Bam, crack the cracker. Boom. Stay square. Boom. And hold my gap. Here we go. Your drill should show up in the game. Your drill should show up in the game right here. Right here. This young man right here. Here we go. Going to get cracked on. Or, or the guy going to try to crack him. Cow. Right there. Boom. Bam. Make the play. There's the, and then, then you got a crack replace. Bam. With the safety should be crack replace. But then he goes and cracks him. So now he's replaced. It all falls downhill. So crack, crack, replace. Here it is in here. 23, 33 is coming to try to block 23. Mm, crack the cracker. That's cracking the cracker right there. Get out of here. Don't touch. Get, yep. And then make the play. Yes, sir. Your drill should show up in the game. Yes, sir. Okay. Shock and shed. Here's another block destruction. Another block destruction. Now you're more head up on, on, on the, uh, the offensive player. And you got to come shocking and trying. The, the man with his hands inside and they got the low pad level normally wins, right? So he wants to try to get shoot, shoot his hands inside, lock him out, all right? Control him and shed him. Shock him, shed him, and go make a play. Shock him, shed him, and, and go make a play with the proper leverage. With the proper leverage. So here it is. Three is going to go shot his head up now. He's not coming at a boss angle. He's not lined up where he's coming in to close the running lane. We're head up, okay? I got to shock and shed you with leverage and then go make the play. Here we go. Boom, boom, shock him. Locked him out, controlled him. Look, shock him, boom, and lock him out. Get off of it, make the play. Shock and shed, shock and shed, all right? Let's look at this one from the, this angle right here. 23 is going to come in the box. It's going to be some motion. You don't see there's 23 coming in the box. And he's going to have to shock and shed alignment. Okay? Alignment? Again, remember pad level, right? Pad level, pad level, hands, hand placement. Boom, right there. 23 shocks, uh, offense alignment. Shock him, get off, shed, make the play. Shock and shed. Your drill should show up in the game. Here's the, here's the corner. Down here, on a tight end, if I'm not mistaken, on a tight end, he's going to have to shock him. Tight end's coming out to block the corner. All right, shock him, couldn't quite boss him. Shock him, lock him out, get off, make the play. Shock and shed, shock and shed. Boom, lock him out, get off, make the play. Good job. Look at it from this angle right here. Tight end's coming out to get him. See how good this one is? Shock him and lock him out. See, he locked him out. He got him up off of him. Shock him and lock him out. Don't just throw your shoulder in there and let them grab and hold you. You have to get separation. Shock and shed. Get off and make the play. 